So do classical commentaries of the Qur'an support the translation of the expanding universe? Let's have a look. So we have a, um, a scholar, a Zamakhshari, who died in the 11th century AD. And in commentating on the verse, he mentions a few things. And all these things are related to the meaning of Musi'un. So in this case, the meanings that we get from the word Musi'un is that it means the encompasser of the heavens, and that's physically, obviously, with power and strength encompassing it all, as well as having knowledge of it, obviously. And it means the provider as well, from the heavens, whether it's physical provision or spiritual provision. And also, it has the meaning of to be the expander. So all these meanings are alluded to in this verse. Okay, now, before I, I, we go to the Sanat Arab, which is the classical dictionary I want to draw attention to, I just want to just do a simple morphology lesson with you, just for to show you the actual word Musi'un and where it's actually derived from. In this translation, which I, I like this translation, it says, we are its expander, which is quite a good translation, because this is actually an active participle. It's the one engaged in the act of osa, so the actual verb is osa, and then we get the active participle, the one engaged in this action is actually musir. Now here it's musirun. Musirun is a plural, and that's the plural of majesty. So we say, so actually look in the verse. We constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. So that's where we get mu si. So that's the that's the verb, and that's the one engaged in in this particular verb, the doer of the verb, and mu si. In actual Sanan Arab, um, the author Ibn Mansur he actually talks about the following verb. So. That's the relation between Osa and Musa. So that's just a quick uh, comment on that. It says, do classical dictionaries of the Arabic language support the translation that the word Osa means expanding? This is actually a scan, so I apologize for the quality of it. It's from the San Arab. And the author died in the 13th century AD. And interestingly enough, he actually quotes in the actual meaning of the verb Osa, he actually mentions the actual verse in question and then comments on it. Now, I want to highlight this part. And especially here, it says, وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهَا وَبَيْنَ الْأَرْضِ سَاعَةً Notice that's exactly the same quote of Zamakhshari. So, this, this is one point to note, is that scholars, it's not about somebody coming and reading the Quran and then interpreting the Quran the way he thinks it is. No, it's not, it doesn't work this way. So there are many qualifications that somebody needs. And if you notice, if you study tafsir, you'll notice that opinions are transmitted through an unbroken chain back to the companions of the Prophet, who, who obviously got it from Rasulullah Then we have the last, the bottom sentence. It says, Ja'ala. Osa'a bima'na wasa'a. Now, wasa'a, there's no doubt it actually means to expand something. So, osa'a has multiple meanings, as we said. It means um, to provide for someone. It means to to encompass something. It means to have power over it. To encompass it in knowledge, it could mean. It could mean a number of things. It also could mean to expand. So, um, I don't want to get into too technical details. It says that the form two verb, which is wasa, has the same meaning as the verb used in the verse to expand something, but it doesn't say that the expanding is ongoing, or does it? Inshallah, we'll find out in part two of this series.